course, I got all those dried beans and, you know, uh, as frozen, <laughs> you know, all that thing. I bought all that kind of stuff like we were going to not. But then, the you know, the grocery stores remained open. I still have all those beans and legumes and, <laughs> and whatever they're called still in the cupboard, you know, waiting for that horrible time to come. <laughs> You know, you just have to carry on, don't you? Like we all mm -hmm. face challenges mm -hmm. all the time. And there's just okay. two things you can do. You can lie down and give up or you can just keep going. And comedy is a great way to just keep going, especially if you can make yourself laugh. I find a lot of comedians aren't very happy. You know, I, I find as I get older, I'm happier for sure. And, and they say that that's a common enough trait that uh, people over 50 are happier no matter what their economic standing is or their health. So mm -hmm. it's easier, like comedians, um, Mike McDonald, a great Canadian comedian who is from Ottawa, used mm -hmm. to say there are two <laughs> kinds of comedians, diagnosed and undiagnosed. <laughs> I only kissed one political leader, and that was Stephen Harper, when he was running for the leader of the Conservatives. After he got to be the leader of the Conservatives, of course, nobody could get close enough. I don't even think his wife could get close enough to him. <laughs> because he was completely surrounded by the things. But yeah, he was a very bad smoocher. It was sort of like kissing a fence post, kind of. This group was designed um, if for people that are living with young onset dementia. So what that means is that they were diagnosed under the age of 65. In 2019, Care4 uh, saw this need and decided to start this program, which is um, actually the first in Ottawa to, uh, to develop. Pre-pandemic, we were meeting at Carleton University and we had access to all of their fantastic athletic facilities. The pandemic hit uh, a year, a year kind of later and we had to qu very quickly adapt. So we went online um, and it's really just become a place where people connect and have built friendships uh, through recreation and through socialization.